What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be why it's important to be on the correct side of the object ball. For this example, this is what we have. We have the six ball and we're plan planning to pocket it to the corner pocket. And we have the seven ball right in front of the side pocket, then you have your eight ball, then your nine ball. In rotation, it's very important to be on the correct side of the next object ball. What this means is, as you can see, I have the tape right here. So if this cue ball lands perfectly on the seven, I can only do three things to this cue ball this, besides not cheating the pocket. Is I can make the cue ball stop, I can draw the cue ball back, or I can make the cue ball follow. But if, if I land on this side, what we mean on this side of the seven, after making the six ball, this is a natural roll where it goes to the eight. If I land on this side of the seven, if you notice, this is going away from the eight ball. So that's why it's very important on what side to land on when you're playing position. For this shot, I'm gonna make the six ball into the corner pocket and try to get position on the seven. The biggest thing is, like I said, I wanna play short on the seven, land about right here, so I can get natural position going to the eight. If I hit this too hard, I might land over here and I'll be going away from the eight. If I land perfectly straight, it makes it very difficult for position play. So the biggest thing is, is focus and exactly know where you want your cue ball to stop. So as you can see, I made the cue ball stop where I can actually get a good angle going into the eight. This is the biggest thing is playing the correct side. So we're gonna do the same shot on now going to the eight ball and playing what side I need to be on so I can get to the nine. From here, where the cue ball lays and where seven is, this is a natural position going to the eight. But the biggest thing is, if I land anywhere on this tape, I can only do three shots. Like I said before, if I land here, I can only do a stop shot, I can do a follow shot, and I can do a draw shot. So I gotta figure out what side I need to be on the eight ball. If I land over here, that means I have a one rail position play going to the nine ball, which makes it a little bit easier. But if I miss this line and I play over here, I have this rail and hopefully not getting to the side pocket and playing the nine ball and getting cue ball over here for position in the line. For this shot, what I'm gonna to try to do is actually just do a stun and get the cue ball to drift over here so I can get one rail position and back to the nine ball. So I got a decent position so I can actually go a one rail position from the eight to the nine ball and hopefully winning this game. For this shot, I'm gonna hit just top going off one rail and controlling the speed and hopefully land around here so I can get a nice position for the nine. So I've got pretty good decent shape on the nine ball. The biggest thing is when you're always playing the last ball on your table, they always tell you to always play a position going to your next shot, even then all the balls are already gone. For this example, as you can see, I have the six ball on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. The seven ball is on the opposite side of the table it's on the second diamond on the long rail and the first diamond on the short rail. With this shot, you'll make it in the six ball into the corner pocket. Your cue ball will play two rails. You're going one rail, two rails, but the biggest thing is you have to control your speed because like I said before, this line tells you you can only do three shots. You can do a stop shot, a draw shot, or a follow shot. So if you land here, you're gonna be playing one rail, two rails, and crossing again into the eight, or hopefully if you land on this side of the seven where you can go one rail and slightly drawing it over here and getting a better position on the eight ball itself. For this shot, I'm gonna be hitting top with a little bit less spin. 
fixed ball into the car pocket going one rail, two rails and controlling the speed because I have to cross this line itself and hopefully land over here so I can get a nice position play from the 7 to the 8. Pretty decent position, I can still do a draw shot and bring it from the 7 to the 8 and hopefully landing around here for the 8 ball and then going to the 9 ball. For this shot, what I'm going to do is going to have a little bit of a draw and then getting off the 7 and hopefully sliding a cue ball around here for a position on the 8. So I got a not, not bad position on the 8 itself where I wanted to be at so I can actually go one rail and hopefully get to the 9 ball itself and play perfect position. For this shot, I'm going to hit top with a little bit of less spin, going one rail and hopefully landing around here so I get a nice shot on the 9. From here I got a decent position on the 9 ball itself, so for this shot, what I'm going to do is just play top itself, going one rail, and then bring in a cue ball around right here for the position play. For this example, the 6 ball is in the same place to get on the 2nd diamond on the long rail and the 1st diamond on the short rail. But the 7 ball is on the same side of the 6 but on the opposite side of the table, making it on the 2nd diamond on the long rail, the 1st diamond on the short rail. So the objective is to pocket the ball, the 6 ball into the corner pocket. The Q ball will play 1 rail, 2 rails, but this time you're going into the 7. The biggest thing is you have to know what side of the 7 you have to be on. You want to be on this side or on this side. I like to be on this side so I can actually go one rail and hopefully get the cue ball around here so I can play position on the eight and then going one rail, almost two rails and get position on the nine around here. For this shot, I'm gonna hit the cue ball with just top, no spin, going one rail, two rails and try to be on this side of the line going to the seven. The cue ball landed not bad going to the 7 itself. I can actually go um, with a stun shot on the 7 ball going one rail and hopefully getting the cue ball here getting positioned to the 8. For this shot, I should just be able to hit with just top with a little bit of right going one rail two rails, and then hopefully landing around here for the nine ball. I hit the ball a little too hard. As you can see, I have a decent shot on the line, but this is still manageable, and hopefully I should make it into that corner pocket. I just did a brief explanation on how to get to the correct side of the object ball. The biggest thing is, remember, you always want to play going into your next shot. You never want to play away from your shot itself. I hope this video was informative. Stay tuned, my next video is going to be on different cut shots for you to learn. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye.